What settings are the best for Counter-Strike 2 in Utility? Well, let's be honest, there are no best settings. I mean, everybody has their own preference with actuation point, rapid trigger, and so on, so on. But in this video, I'll guide you through our recommended settings to use as a baseline. And you can just fiddle around with it, see if you like it, and go from there. And as a bonus, we also have five pro player profiles we're sharing with you. And before I start off with the explanation of a profile, I want to recommend you guys to actually check out the actuation point explanation and rapid trigger explanation in the top left corner so you know more why I set these settings because I'm not gonna go in depth with those. And if you don't want to be bothering with all the talking explanation of me they can also just copy the profile code in the description below just go simply to your utility input profile copy the code and import and voila and don't forget to drag the profile all the way to the top to make it active but yeah let's get in our profile as you can see 0.4 millimeter actuation point on the WASD keys why not 0.1 millimeters well me personally and I know a lot of others too as well and they tend to lean on the WASD keys all the time and if you set it to 0.1 millimeters then you might accidentally press those keys and that's why 0.4 millimeters just has that extra gif. And of course we have enabled rapid trigger on the WASD keys because I mean 3.6 millimeters of travel to reset, that's just a whole lot of delay and you don't want that delay. 0.2 millimeters of sensitivity, 0.2 millimeters just gives you that extra gif, just like the actuation point. But this time it's on holding down the key. When I bottom down a switch, I tend to unintentionally release that switch slightly because somehow I can't bottom out it fully and I just unintentionally released slightly already, which makes me just stop moving again. That's something I don't want. So 0.2 millimeters just gives a little bit more give. Now we're going to the slow walk button, the left shift button, of course, and that's set to 2.8 millimeters, which seems quite drastic, but let me explain it to you guys. Activate Activating your slow walk isn't as important as the deactivation of the slow walk. You know there's gonna be enemies around the corner, you're slow walking towards a corner and then you have to release it very quickly and just sprint around the corner and just bam bam shoot the peoples. And so the release is mostly important and not the activation. So now it actually has like 1.2 millimeters of travel till it actually deactivates. And of course you can play with this number, but I've always felt like with left shift, I always unintentionally released it 2.8 is a nice middle ground for that. But you probably think like, oh, we can maybe just implement rapid trigger on left shift. I mean, yeah, you can do that. And most of the time it works perfectly well, but still I just unintentionally release the shift key and then it just spams the shift key and it's just wiggly wiggly and I make noise and then it's like, okay, the enemy knows where I am. I am totally f and then we go off to the crouch button, which is of course your left control. Uh, so the crouch button, it's set to 1.0 millimeters of actuation point. And the same with left shift, we do not have rapid trigger enabled on this because only the activation is mostly important compared to the activation. Because usually when you're in a gunfight, you just start crouching so your head position will change. So, it, you're, so you're pretty much just harder to hit. And of course you become more accurate when you're crouch it down. So 1.0 is what we recommend, but of course you can play around with it and maybe also try like 0.4 millimeters. And of course it's not as time essential as WASD keys would be. Then the left windows key is set to 4.0 millimeters just because you don't want to fat finger your windows key. So it's still operational. Uh, it just takes you to bottom down the key till it actually activates. On an escape key, we have set up a mod tab key. So right now it's set to hold to open the console and if you tap it, you actually have your regular escape key. And I know you guys like your F row, so that's why you've also remapped the caps lock to FN1. So now if you actually press FN1, you go pretty much to your first FN layer and then you just press FN1, so your caps lock, and press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 to get access to the F keys. With your left pinky on the caps lock key, you can actually access the F12 key. I can't because I just have small hands, and you know what to say about small hands. Uh, never mind. And now, of course, we are getting towards the pro plays. What are they using? Well, I got five pro plays. You can actually see them on the left over here. So let's get into them. 
tired he must be for Mad Lion. Does he push the smoke again? Does he actually go for this? You better believe he does! Dexter is the one-man wrecking crew! So Dexter's journey has a W key set up to 3.0 millimeters of actuation point and ASD key set to 1.0 millimeters and rapid trigger across the board. He doesn't use any continuous rapid trigger or doesn't separate the press and release sensitivity. Uses tachyon mode and just like I did on my own profile, he actually adjusted the caps lock to FN1. So he has quick access. Let's see if he remap stuff. Yeah, he just simply has quick access to the afro, which is, I guess, what he wanted. Okay, let's go now to a leash. The leash, this could be a massive clutch. If complexity want for once in their damn lives an easy map win, then this plant could be key. Which comes barreling at him, and a reach will happily take the fight. Needs rain to try and close oh! it. Twice in this pistol! Oh, These oh. lizard flicks are sick! A leash has a lot of things going on. So as you can see, WASD keys are set to 0.5 millimeters of actuation point. Rapid trigger is set across the board besides the left shift and left control. Uh, across the board, 2.0 millimeters of actuation point. Uh, so many different actuation points at different positions where you just be wondering like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Taking mode enabled. Sensitivity of 0.8 millimeters on the rapid trigger. No continuous rapid trigger, no separate press and release sensitivity either. Okay, let's go to Fang JC. Never get out of there. And they gotta worry about the, the, the rifles here. Jay oh, what? Fang is on the spray. Big double. And it's a two on two. Somehow they brought it back a little bit. Falling to pick up what? the form, but only for a second Fang. No way! Oh. He'll end the round with a quad kill as he brings complexity right back. Game. Uses an actuation point of 1.0 millimeters on WASD keys and 3.0 millimeters on a X key. Spacebar also 3.0 millimeters, 1.0 millimeters on left control. Okay, but he doesn't use rapid trigger. Oh, hell no, man. That's what something I just can't comprehend. Like, why? And not even tech you mode either. Like, <laughs> right? I, 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 he must be trolling with me. Let's go to NATO suffix. So he has across the board a sensitivity of 0.3 millimeters on the actuation point. Rapid trigger also across the board besides his number keys and his G key and the space bar. 0.25 millimeters of sensitivity on rapid trigger. He didn't remap any keys to my knowledge. Tech mode is enabled. Rapid trigger further, yeah, that's okay. And then nothing with these settings. Do we have an FN1 layer set up? Oh, it's also pretty regular. Okay. Going to the last person, last pro player, and that's MBK. The legendary MBK that we all know is now left to keep his team on the fine line between life and death, and he gets the most. MBK, there you have it. Keep stopping in the game. So MBK has set a actuation point of 1.0 millimeters across the board besides his G key and B key, which is 1.5 millimeters. Rapid trigger is also across the board. 0.5 millimeters as well. Stachium mode enabled. Fast settings? No advanced settings. No remapped keys as far as I can see. So this is MBK. And further I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Of course if you have any suggestions, questions or whatever, just let us know in the comments below and we'll check you guys out in the next one. Goodbye.